keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, Chris here from footballbetdata.com. Uh, this video here, we're going to be covering how you create and test a profitable uh, football betting system. Um, could do it on racing bet data as well, but we've, we've got a, a lot of videos already on the YouTube channel covering racing. So time for a bit of football. Um, now, what I'm going to do in this video is create a, a very basic strategy here, um, which has shown profits historically. Um, and then I'm going to talk you through how you can test uh, the past results uh, using our statistical relevance file uh, and then how you can monitor the results going forward. So first thing you need to do is navigate to the football bet data website and download from our example downloads file this file here called statistical relevance. So open that one up and we will save that one for later. Uh, and then we can navigate to the data dashboard. So this is where we're going to generate our output. Okay, so we're going to create a very basic, simple system here. So our data can be expanded upon. Uh, we've shown you already other videos where you can use the goal times uh, to, to look for teams where there's likelihood of them coming from behind or throwing away a lead. Also teams where there's likely to be a goal or has historically been a goal in their games in the last 10 minutes. Um, so that's just one angle you can look at. But here we're, we're going to purely look at full time result. Um, and what we're going to do we're selecting every single league in the database here. And we're going to look for uh, predicted scores from our um, statistical score prediction uh, model where the home team is fancy to win by three or more goals. So I'm selecting the predicted score lines here where the home team uh, is predicted to win by three or more goals. Um, we also have predicted odds as well as predicting the scores. We also reflect what's called the true odds in the database. Uh, so you can select those as well in, in, when you're manipulating and testing a system. But like I said, I'm keeping it very simple here and I'm not going to be using any odds filters on this. So purely going for the score predictions. And we're going to focus on the current uh, uh, season for winter leagues and the current and previous for the summer leagues. And I'm going to leave the toggle here as all. And I'm going to submit this to screen initially so we can have a look at this data and see what it spits out. So that's generated 463 records. Uh, and you can scroll through all of these. You can uh, click on the headers to sort in uh, order if you wanted to, to examine the detail a bit more on screen. Uh, or we have this handy little arrow button that will take us all the way down to our profitability tables at the bottom of this data set. Um, <clears throat> now you can see here, the top two uh, tables are showing the output based on um, score predictions. So we've already filtered out any draw or away wins because we've only selected games where the home team was fancy to win. Now you can see here, this is using the average bookmaker odds. There were 463 games, which tallies with the whole output uh, with odds. And we would have generated a profit of £262 from a £10 level stake uh, using average bookmaker odds. And that would generate a return on investment yield of 5.66%. So that's not too shabby over a sample size of games uh, of that size. Then we can also examine against the Betfair exchange prices. So we have 443 games in here. So you may be thinking straight away, well, why is that less than the average bookmaker prices? Um, you can see here, there's some games where the um, Betfair exchange odds were zero. And that is because we didn't enter Betfair odds into our database until the end of June, 2022. So these games here, you can see are the ones uh, the 20 or so that are the difference and then all of the games from July onwards should have more or less Betfair odds as well. Now those odds are the closing back price uh, from the Betfair betting exchange um, that are taken into account and then when using those odds to calculate winning bets a 2% commission is applied to winning bets already into this calculation so all the winning uh, matches that you would have selected here there's a 2% commission factored in, okay? Now you can see there's a significant 
increase in the profit purely because Betfair Betting Exchange will offer you better odds, more likely than not, uh, when, when placing your, your singles bets. Uh, and that in turn represents a better yield. So ne nearly 10% yield there, uh, backing this very basic system. So I know people have been trialing and using this and they some of them apply slightly different filters. So by league or they, uh, they're factoring in different odds ranges, predicted odds in there. But this, like I said, is just a very quick way to show you how our score predictions could pot potentially uh, generate uh, a profitable, profitable output. Um, we can then also look at the other, um, examine the other tables that we have in the database, but those are the two that we primarily focus on. We haven't created anything to look for over-unders or both teams to score or anything along those lines. So those top two tables are our main focus of interest. Okay, so all well and good. We've created a what looks to be a profitable betting system. Uh, I'm going to scroll to the top and now send this to Excel uh, to get some further output and then uh, use this in conjunction with our stati statistical relevance file that we've already downloaded. So here's the data in the output uh, Excel output. Um, I'm going to go to our statistical relevance file here. Now, what it's asking me to do is input these blue sections and then uh, it will calculate the, the outputs for us. So it's asking for the number of bets. So I'm going to go back to our uh, table here and we can see I'm going to use the Betfair odds. So it's 220, uh, sorry, 443. Uh, and then how many of these were wins? OK, so we can very quickly go to, well, there's two ways of doing it. We can go to the, the Excel uh, output and filter it for home wins or we already have this if we scroll down we can see that using bet for exchange prices there were 326 home wins so i'm going to add in 326 that generates our strike rate uh, and then the yield so again we have this in the output table of 9.84 9 9.84 average odds so what we can do in the output from excel is filter for Betfair home odds. Home odds. We're going to take out the zeros uh, to give us the average. Select that row, and you can see the average there is 1.55. Now we are going to evolve and add, try and add some of this additional content in to these tables, so it's already in here for you. Uh, but for now, that's the way to calculate it: 1.55, and then expected winners. So expected winners. We put a little. Uh, text explanation here to show you how you can calculate the expected winners um, and it's the sum of all the odds probabilities now i need to change that because i missed the d off uh, so calculate a new column of one divided by betfair S sp for every row and then sum that that is your expected winners so we're going to go back to this uh, output here and select one uh, equals one divided by and we're going to select the betfair odds uh, here we go. And there you can see the pr probability. And if I select that entire row, it shows us the sum and rounded up, that's 300. So uh, from the data set that we've created, the expected amount of winners were 300. The actual number of winners were 326. Okay. Now that's already generated our p value. Now the p value is 0.17%. Uh, which means there's a 1 in 580 probability that this system would have been created down to chance alone. Now, the one thing to take into account here when using uh, p-values and Archie scores that we've got here as well, is that this is data that we've back-tested. Now, the best way to do this, the better way to do this, if you're using historical data, would be to cut this down and maybe uh, generate your output for even or odd months, uh, generate your p-value, and then look at it against the uh, the opposite, the even or the odd as well as the, the full data set. So you're simulating that you would have looked at this uh, on, on a random selection of data, or even if you'd cut off up to a point in time, so maybe uh, cut off up to the, the 1st of January 2023, looked at your P-score and seen, okay, that was historically profitable. So I could have generated a system on the 1st of January based on that uh, amount of data. It would have been a smaller sample size at that stage. And then you would have seen going forwards uh, that it continued to be profitable, uh, which is what you would expect. But obviously recording this video, I'm using this data 
uh, as of sort of yesterday and beyond. Um, and then part of what you'll need to do is what's called paper testing. So we don't really advise you dive in with any uh, capital involved. If you think you've come across a system, it's always good to monitor that for another period of time uh, before you start uh, investing in it. But back to the p-value. So like I said, it's a 0.17. Now we've got an explanation in here um, and I'm just going to flick through. You can read this at your own convenience, but it's basically to the bottom. It's saying a p-score below 5% gives moderate evidence against the thesis that the yield is a result of chance alone. So we're well below the 5%. A p-score below 1% could be considered strong evidence. So we're below the 1%. Uh, and then under 0.1 is a very strong uh, case. So we're not quite at that 0.1 very strong, but we are well below uh, strong evidence. So on the on the value of it, it does look like backing home teams that are predicted by to win by three or more goals using Betfair odds could potentially be a profitable long term system. Um, again, Archie score. Um, so we're talking about um, Archie in here. And again, it's saying if we look for an Archie score of five, so our Archie score is just under seven, that represents a probability of roughly two and a half percent that your method of selecting winners was just down to chance or fluke. So it's a 97% likelihood that it was not down to chance. Uh, and as I said, our score is just under seven. So it's saying here that the likelihood of this being down to chance alone is just over one percent and down to skill. 99%. Now, what would fill us with more confidence, like I said, is, is if we had created the system uh, and these are the results we have got from drawing that line in the sand so going forward. So what would be a good thing to do is probably to monitor this for a good four or five months, uh, even into the beginning of next season, and then using that data, see what sort of scores you're getting. But like I said, the video itself, the intention of this was to show you how you can create a profitable or an output system, in this instance, it happens to be profitable, how you can then test that for robust ability using our free statistical relevance tool. Um, and then what you should be doing following on from that is paper trading and monitoring the uh, score predictions and then putting them through the testing machine again to see the output before committing anything financially. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, use the free statistical relevance tool. It's there for everybody to download and use. Um, use the score predictions, use the dashboard, use the odds filters on here, uh, have a play with it, save your selections as well. So you can uh, manage these and save these for easy recall. So if you do stumble across something that you think looks to be uh, giving you an edge, save that criteria and then recall it on a regular basis so you can monitor that output without having to invest any money in it. Thanks again for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video.